Hey, what's up? This is Seth from Lava, and um, this is quick tip number five. So let's get started. I'm gonna open up Blender, and um, this quick tip is gonna be on this little toolbar. This little toolbar, sorry, um, over here, and um, because there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So um, you know, it's just a quick tip. It'll be fast. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first of all, we're gonna do the tra These are just all the ways to move it. What you could do with um. The arrows, if you change them, or you could use your shortcuts for translate, G, but um, translate if you don't feel like using the keyboard or anything, you just do that. Um, rotate, and scale, so um, that's all that does. Um, origin, that mean that'll change, if, as you see, like if I go ahead and scale this, there's a little dot in the middle, that's like the origin of the cube, and it'll scale along that, so if I make origin, and I say origin the 3D cursor. The origin of this thing, the, of this cube, will be the 3D cursor. So now when I scale, it scales away from that origin, or um, rotate it or rotate along that origin. So um, that's what the origin can do. Duplicate objects. That's just what we could do with Shift D. Um, it just duplicates it, makes another one. So um, and delete. Just delete it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make it out, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna duplicate this. And now uh, if I sit, hit shift and stuff like that, I can hit join, and that makes them one object. And um, whatever the, the last object you selected was, that'll make that the origin point. But so I'm gonna undo that. So if I select this and then this, the origin point for the this square when I join will be the origin point for both of them. So then now they move together, they edit in the same. You know, they're one object. That does um, shading smooth and flat. Um, with a square, not, I mean a cube, you're not going to see much out of that. But let me go ahead and subdivide this. And um, now, if I would hit smooth, see how like you can. Well, let me just show. See you can see the um, how it's kind of jaggedy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually one more time. Okay, now if I hit smooth shading, it kind of goes away and it looks all. Um, better. It just wasn't looking too good whenever there's only two subdivisions or no subdivisions because it's all it does is smooth it out. It doesn't subdivide. It just makes it look like there's no edges. Um, and flat will just undo that. Um, keyframes. All that'll do is um, whenever you're down here, you can hit I and insert location, location, lock. Location, rotation, scaling, location, rotation, location, scale, location, rotation, all these different things. And um, what they'll do is, let me show you, this is actually for like the animation. Um, and what I'll do is I'll insert like, I'm actually use a, I'm going to use this, head, keyframes, insert. of uh, location, 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 rotation, scale. And then if I go to frame 100. Oh, no, do that. Okay. Move it up here, rotate it, scale it, and then I insert location, rotation, scale, and then you go back to frame one and hit play. There's your little animation. So um, I think I'll get. I think I'll make a quick tip on actually how to animate, but um, <laughs> that'd be cool. And then you can hit my move. Yeah. Um, to remove all the keyframes on that. Um on that um frame there. Okay. Let me open the new one. Okay. Um motion paths. Calculate paths. Oh that's only for if you have an armature and um it's for rigging and um it's kind of advanced for just like a what is supposedly supposed to be a five minute tutorial. So I'll go and I'll do that later. Repeat. Well um repeat your last action. So if I grab it and do this and you want it to move a little bit farther in that same direction, I can hit repeat last and we'll just keep doing it. I um wanted to scale it up, and I want to just keep scaling it like the exact same times. Like hit me up. if I scale it and I scale it three times its original size by hitting a three on my keypad, I'm on my keyboard. Um, and I repeat last will scale that three times its size, that three times its size, and um so that's kind of cool. It just repeats it. Um, history will just show you what you just did. So if I grab it, scale it grab it, rotate it, then I go to history, it'll show me everything I did. And um so that's just like if you're like, did I 
just do that. <laughs> so um, you can check that out. Who's pencil? It's for like making notes. Yeah, make annotations on the app of the battle. That's something you can do. You can roll over these and it'll tell you what they're doing. Um, as if you get confused, draw will just okay. This is kind of weird. I just recently found this out, but if I want to make this end here red, this here I'll go. And then I'll be like, and then it's like 3D and you can see through it. It's kind of weird, but like it's just like for I guess like if you well, I have a touchscreen computer, so I guess this could be cool for me because I could like use my finger and I could do draw and then I could be like, uh, it just stops whenever you lift up. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, yeah, you can kind of see it. I guess it's just for writing notes. I mean, it's kind of weird. Erase. So just get rid of all of that. And, um, line, we'll draw a straight line. Poly, we'll draw, a, um, like a, a polygon, I guess. And then, um, oh, I don't know how you get out of this. I've actually had this problem before. I don't know how you get out of this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Ah! Um, these pen. What? How do you stop this? Won't even let me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna close one. <laughs> okay. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Now you know not to hit that button. Um. Okay. Anyway, cloud generate. You actually have to go into the user preferences to turn this one on. But, um, it's really cool. I don't think it works with Cycles Render. So I'm going to go into Blender Render and um, hit Generate Cloud. And you can actually choose what kind it is. And um, it's pretty cool because I'm actually just learning about this in my science class in school about the different kinds of clouds. So um, I'm going to go to Stratus. Oh, um, hit Generate Cloud. And you'll see all this stuff happening around here. And now if I hit F12 and render it, this is pretty cool. Uh, just waiting. <laughs> okay. You can just see it kind of forming pretty slow. Actually, it looks like a really realistic cloud. And, um, I actually see tutorials online for modeling clouds, and they take as much as, like, an hour to an hour and a half. And I clicked one button right there. <laughs> so, um, it's just really cool, because, look, there's my cloud. And if I want three different sizes, I just use the cloud. I would use the cloud generator on different objects. So that's really, really neat. I really like that feature. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and open a new file now. And um, yeah, that's it for this. Um, I'll make another one if you you can hit T to close that. And um, I would make another one. There's another one here if you hit N to open it, but it's just way bigger. And everything changes whenever you, whenever excuse me, whenever you do anything on that tab. See how much stuff stuff changes. Every window it changes. Whenever nothing much really changes in here, just a little bit, like your tools and stuff. Um, you know, but like if this is just so drastic, so um, I don't think I'm gonna do one on that. You could just toy around with that. Most of it actually is just toying around. Whenever you'll be like. Background images. Oh yeah, um, background images. That's kind of cool. Um, you just toy around with it. Um, whenever it comes to this one, these ones here are like usually the big important ones. Where um, you know, because like it's obviously whenever you're like building a character and his head is this big and his body is this big, you know, that's what that's what all this is for. You know, messing with that. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. This was quick tip number five. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you next time.